Hey guys, welcome to JPT. I'm Carson G, and this is Just Plain Tech. So, in today's video, we are going to look at Lubuntu versus Puppy Linux, the pros and cons of each. Lubuntu. So, some pros about Lubuntu. Lubuntu, not Ubuntu, Lubuntu. It is basically Ubuntu with the LXDE, or if newer versions, LXDE desktop environment, which is way lighter than the Unity or GNOME desktop environment that Ubuntu uses. It's very lightweight, which means it runs very quickly and even runs fast on older hardware, so it's definitely a great choice for older computers. So, Lubuntu is Ubuntu based, so it uses the Debian apt package manager with, uh, you know, apt get in the terminal can work, but there's also Synaptic package manager as well as GNOME software to make it easier to install applications, you know, kind of like what you'd see on Linux Mint, for example. Lubuntu comes ready-made out of the box, and it has a very easy installer compared to Puppy Linux. But it does have a little bit of customization, but it's a little bit difficult and not very user-friendly to customize. That's where we get to the cons. There aren't as many features, like it's not a very bleeding-edge desktop environment. It's pretty traditional and basic. It doesn't have very many cool features like you'd see on Ubuntu or Linux Mint or some other Linux distribution. So basically the desktop is very basic, not very flashy. There aren't animations or anything like that or cool transitions, nothing fancy like that. It's just a plain desktop environment pretty much. And while you can customize it, not to have like animations or anything, but you can customize it, like change maybe the color scheme or the icon theme or whatever. That is definitely not a very user-friendly experience to customize it. Even just rearranging or adding or removing applications from the taskbar is still a little bit of a hassle. So not very customiz not very easily customizable. So now we move on to Puppy Linux. Let's start with the pros of Puppy Linux. Like Ubuntu, it is fast and lightweight, but it's also slightly smaller and lighter than Ubuntu, which could make a bit of a difference on ancient hardware, allowing it to run just a teeny bit faster but that really only makes a difference if you have ancient hardware. On newer hardware, it's not gonna make a noticeable difference. And unlike Lubuntu, Puppy Linux has different versions of it known as Puppies, which are based off of different Linux distributions. There are Puppies based off of Ubuntu, Slackware, and other Linux distributions out there. So choose one depending on which distro you want it to be based off of. And let's, let's look at the cons of Puppy Linux. So it's not as user friendly as Lubuntu. Its installer is definitely more, its installer is definitely more tricky. Uh, the Lubuntu installer will pretty much do everything for you, whereas Puppy Linux you have to manually partition it and manually select which partition to install it to, and it's just not as easy to install it as you would think. And it, as far as customization, it's not as easy. You can customize it, but it's not as easy to customize as Lubuntu, which Lubuntu isn't already super easy to customize in the first place, so it's definitely not a, like, as far as altering settings and everything, it's not very user friendly. Whereas Lubuntu is user friendly for installing packages, Puppy Linux is not. For example, if you're using the Ubuntu Puppy 
you'll have to use the puppy package manager, which is kind of similar to Synaptic, but it doesn't update on its own. You kind of have to update it manually, and that is kind of confusing to remember how to do. And once you do that, it's still not as easy of a user interface to navigate. And I also found out that like an apt get command in the terminal won't work on Puppy Linux, which is interesting. So in terms of package management, Lubuntu is probably a better choice. So down to the nitty gritty, the final decision, Lubuntu, Puppy Linux. If you can't decide, you could dual boot them. Check out this video up here if you want to know how to dual boot them. That's what I've done. I can't decide, so I just put both of them on there. I'm very indecisive when it comes to Linux distributions and which one I want to run. But let's say if you're a beginner who wants to try out Linux on an old computer they have in the garage and just wants it to be, for the most part, fast and easy to use, Ubuntu is probably the best you're going to get for that. Now, if you want something a teeny bit faster, if you have less RAM, say with Ubuntu you want at least one gigabyte of RAM, but if you have a little bit less and you want, if you have like 512 megabytes of RAM or something like that, then you're definitely going to want to go with Puppy Linux because it's slightly smaller, it's a little bit faster, and it's a little bit more of an adjustment than Ubuntu, than Ubuntu but it's still for the most part, easy enough to use, and I bet you can get used to it. So, if you have that case where it, the computer's just super old and you don't mind sacrificing a little bit of user friendliness for speed, then you'd want to go with Puppy Linux. But then again, if you just want to use Linux on an old computer with at least one gigabyte of RAM, you want it to be fairly easy to use and to install, you'll want to go with Ubuntu. So. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I also want to let you guys know real quick, I've been thinking about changing the name for the channel, and I don't know what I'm going to change it to yet, but let me guys know what you think about this in the comments below. And as always, we'll see you next time.